Hello all, this video is based on one of the videos I posted in my YouTube channel. Now this was with regards to approvals in Power Automate. So if you see this video, there was a comment received by one of the user. Now the user has asked for some approval flow, uh, which is triggered using a Microsoft Forms that has a file attached and that user wants that file attachment go into the validation request in Power Automate. So what I understand is that maybe that user wants the Microsoft Forms to be triggered, uh, a triggering point for the Power Automate flow with the file attachment, and then that approval process should trigger up. So for that, uh, let me show you the slide. Yeah, so the scenario is basically uh, an approval workflow with a file attachment. So user fills up the Microsoft Forms form, fills some details, attaches a file to a form, and the form submission triggers an approval workflow. In the approval workflow, the approval workflow contains the details received from Microsoft Forms. Uh, the file attachment also gets attached to the approval workflow email. Uh, so basically, uh, take for example a use case, a general scenario whereby uh, Girish and C organization requests all salesperson to fill out a Microsoft Forms post preparing a quote for customer and send across to the CFO for approval. So all the salesperson mandatory need to fill out the Microsoft Forms, attach the quote uh, document and send across to the CFO for approval before proceeding. Okay. So uh, let me show you a sample which I have created. So this, let's assume this is like a code document which a salesperson prepares, okay? And this code document gets submitted to the CFO for approval, okay? So for that, we need to first create a Microsoft form. So I'm in Microsoft Forms interface. So let's create a form. So we'll create a Microsoft form uh, for a salesperson. Let's call this as uh, code approval system. Okay, and let's put some description and uh, maybe we can ask for a client's name, okay. And we can add uh, another field called as upload file, okay. Now I'm not setting any parameters on upload file. Uh, maybe let's assume I'll just put it as a required file and I'll call it as a uh, sales quote okay now this file can uh, accept any kind of attachment but in our case it is basically a pdf document okay so there are two fields client's name sales quote uh, and the user will fill this information uh, let's see uh, how this will look like so let me close this and Okay, so this is fine. So let me preview this. So this is how it will look like and we can start submitting the information. Okay, so this is our quote approval system form created in Microsoft form. Now, we'll go into Microsoft Power Automate interface and then we'll start uh, basically creating that flow. Okay, so let me open this. Yeah, so here in new flow, let me uh, first create a say this will be a automated cloud flow. Now we will call this flow as um, sales code approval flow. Okay, and the trigger is uh, it is coming from Microsoft Form. So that means if someone is submitting a new response, so when a new response is submitted using Microsoft Forms, then only trigger this. A particular flow so this is what we have now authored so let me go back to the old interface uh, so this is the old interface of Microsoft Power Automate so the form ID now the form ID is the form which we have just created okay now let me see if we have uh, a the form over here yes I can see the quote approval system now this is that same form which we have created over here okay so let me select this quote approval system. So that means when a new response is submitted, uh, I will be using this quote approval system. Now, the next step is to uh, basically send out an uh, approval, right? 
once you receive that response so let's do one thing let's say search for create an approval so if you go in approval we will say create an approval now in approval there are multiple types for the simplicity purpose we will just say first to respond you can pick anything okay i'll just select approve reject first to respond okay now this is how you uh, get those create an approval process now here we need to pass on the information now in order to pass on information we need to first get the information from microsoft uh, forms right now how do you get this information we need to add a step in between and search for forms and if you see microsoft forms uh, the action over here is get response details okay so i will get the uh, response details now again we need to select the form id now the form id is a uh, court approval system okay and the response id we can take it from a dynamic value from here when a new response is submitted response id so thereby we get all the responses which is available within the microsoft form now here in create an approval we need a couple of things one is uh, the title we'll just say please approve code from say x user okay now that x user is coming from say dynamic content uh, which will be the client's name okay so we got the client's name and the sales code is the attachment okay so if i let's see what happens if i select this client's name okay the moment i select this it will take this as a dynamic value over here and i can assign it to the cfo so let's assume the cfo is like a hard coded identity and then i'll put my name as the cfo of that organization who will approve those information okay now coming over here uh there are uh, attachments which has a name and a content which should directly come from this system right now here if you see under name and content i can't directly get the file name and file content from here so we need to do something special to get those file attachment transferred okay but before we even go to that information we need to do some sort of uh, now a dry run and see what happens okay so let me delete this first okay let me delete this create an approval process because we need to get the json object and try to understand the system how it is operating okay first let's see whether the flow is getting triggered or not okay so we'll come back to this so let me save this information and now i've saved this information now let me go into that form and start filling the information so client name is joe Joe, and i'll file upload the file so this is that pdf file okay and let me upload this and i submit this form now ideally what should happen is let me duplicate this just to see the view whether that uh, flow has been triggered or not so this is my authoring interface where i will edit all the flow related uh, actions and this interface i will just see the flow runs okay so let me go into my flows and see the flow run history okay now here it says it has succeeded so let's go and see what it has captured okay so when a new response is submitted all good it got that form id and that's the output and here under get response detail i get all the information like john doe uh, and uh, responder email and so on and so forth now this one is important because now we have captured the name name is coming correctly but then this attachment is an array element okay now let me copy this and show you in the json stack viewer what it is so it says it is the zeroth element that means we have attached one attachment right now we can attach multiple attachment that's why it's an array now here if you see it has name it has id it has link it has so on and so forth component uh, which talks about the attachment which we have attached okay now two things are important over here okay now this part name 
name is the file name and the id okay these two are the important parameters if we get this we will be able to uh, capture the information in the uh, flow okay now what to do now this is a json component right so we need to extract or pass those json components so for that uh, let me go back to this form okay let me yeah submit another response i will keep this open let me go to this flow now let's start authoring the flow okay now here we got it when a new response is submitted get response details so we got all those things now what we said that we will use approval process so we will add that approval again the same step what we did create an approval approval type we'll select uh, approve reject first to respond and uh, in the title i'll say um, please approve code from and i'll put the some information over here okay which i will uh, just keep it open as of now okay and i'll put the name of the cfo who will approve the request again coming here we want the file name and the file content now we will not be able to directly get as i explained to you in the dynamic content we can't just use sales code over here we need to get the file name and the file content for that what we will do we will uh, iterate through that array okay for iteration we need to have a control which has applied to each component over here and now this has this will fetch the content from the body so in this apply to each loop now as you saw that we have this json object so we need to pass this json and i told you name and id is important so we'll come over here and apply to each and we'll try to pass that json so with that we need to write an expression now the expression is basically we need to get the json um, the string that is converted to a native type so we need to get the output of the dynamic value which is basically the file name which is that sales code you know that file control so now what it has done it has says outputs of get response details and the body slash the id of that particular attachment so i'll just save this okay now if you see here this is getting the output of that response details and specific item okay now, in order to get the file content, uh, there is a control within one drive for business. So let me see if I can find that. Yes, one drive for business. And in one drive for business, there is something called as get file content. Okay. Now, get file content will actually give you the content of that file. But for that, you need to specify the unique identifier. Okay. Now, the unique identifier for the file is coming from this JSON, right? Now, as I told you, this JSON has this object ID. This is like that identifier. So let's pick up that. Now, in order to get that, you need to again write an expression. So here we are writing an expression which says, out of this loop, give me the first item. Okay. Uh, and the item which we are going to pass is of ID. Okay. So give me that ID value. And this will be the unique file content okay now once that is done i think uh, you can also save that file into sharepoint or any other location if you want but in our case we'll keep it simple what we are going to do is we're going to create an approval system now we have already created an approval system now remember this approval system is outside of this apply to it so we'll not be able to get those information so let me drag this inside and from here now we said that please approve the code from uh, some person who has sending this form uh, say let's take for example from say let's keep it simple we'll just say from salesperson okay uh, and then here in the attachment name and attachment content now for attachment content we have done all the good work over here we will take this from file content from the one for business now for the file name i told you it is coming from item name okay so here it's item name this is a file name right so we need to write an expression here and it is item 
of name okay. okay now from here you know that uh, in this form we have this field client's name right this anyways you can directly get it from the form so you can just put dash and then we can take a dynamic content and you know who from whom it is coming okay so you can just put client's name here okay so it looks like our flow is good uh let me save this flow and see whether it works or not okay now in the email if i if you see there is uh like the last iteration which we did uh we got uh, a response okay but no email was sent because there was no approval flow earlier okay so so we don't have any email uh let's start by running this flow uh, so if i go into this code approval system again let me put some so on and upload a file and let me attach that same file here i'll submit this form and let me see the run history it's still running and it has succeeded okay so uh, let me refresh this and let let us look into that run history uh, again so if i click over here to see the run history it says your flow ran successfully and apply to each and it has created an approval okay now here i got an email uh, please approve the code okay so if i come here then it will send me the code from the salesperson so it has picked up the name well so that's what we wanted and also it has picked up the attachment and thereby you know uh, a cfo can either approve or reject the code they can even have a look into the document so that's the same pdf document which we have attached and we assume that that's a code uh, and thereby we can you know like we have worked on it so again to reiterate on the flow part uh, let me again show you what what happened so we created a form we captured the response as a part of the trigger for this particular flow so when a new response is submitted we need to put the form id then get the response detail all the response will be straightforward except for the attachment because if you see this form uh, in this form client name and any other field which you will put that will be straightforward but for the sales code it will be kind of an array array of files you can attach multiple files for that we captured the response and we saw that this is the format and for every attachment you will have this particular uh, key value pair so id and name is an important part name is where you get the name of the file attachment id is that uh, file content so what we are going to do is uh, we came here and then we said that okay let's pass that json okay so we pass the json and if you see here json is outputs of get response detail and then uh, we just captured the first element okay now there is only one element that's why it is this flow has run once okay had it been multiple element then you can't directly use create an approval over here you may need to use some different logic okay but just for simplicity purpose we have used this now for creating an approval it asks for some parameters file name file content and title now title is straightforward we can get it from the response detail and that's why we got from here from a file name perspective we have taken item of name okay now item of name as i told you this is that file name so item of name so we got it from there and for the file content we have made use of one drive for business get file content which gives you the output of raw content file and this is basically item of id okay so item of id will give you the file content and thereby you run this flow and get this response okay so this is how we create an uh, approval system with a file attachment received from microsoft forms form submission that's it folks thanks for watching